Hi, it's Barton Jennings here from Lung and Sleep. I've got an interesting case here to show you, showing the utility of bronchoscopy with EBUS biopsy diagnosing mesothelioma. Mesothelioma is a cancer of the pleura or the lining of the lung. So it's not common that this is diagnosed with bronchoscopy. The common ways to diagnose it is to drain the pleural effusion and look for the cytology, looking for malignant cells, or doing a pleural biopsy, which often requires an operation. However, in this case, I demonstrate a way in which mesothelioma can be diagnosed bronchoscopically. I'll show you. This is the CT scan. We'll firstly have a look at the lung windows. Here you can see there's a lesion here that seems to be associated with the pleura, and here's another lesion here. The underlying lung looks pretty normal though. Let's continue to scan through. There's another bit of a lesion here. We may see this better on the mediastinal windows. There seems to be a bit of volume loss in this left lung compared to this right lung. Continue to scan through. Here we can see some nodularity of the fissure here. A little bit more nodularity of the fissure. And right down the base of the lung, we can see some areas of linear atelectasis. I certainly cannot see any lung mass. A little bit of atelectasis down at the right base too. I certainly can't see any lung mass though. Let's have a look at the mediastinal windows. This CT scan has been done without contrast, so it makes it a little bit difficult to see the pleura. However, the mediastinal windows does show us the pleura a little bit better than the lung windows. And here immediately you can see some pleural nodularity, pleural nodules, a little bit of thickening here of the mediastinal pleura. That's usually a good sign that there may be malignancy of the pleura. Here's also these nodules that extend along the pleural surface. This is the aorta here, uh, which would normally have contrast, but you can certainly see that there's a, a lesion sitting right here on the mediastinal pleura. As we progress down, we can see some more thickening of this mediastinal pleura. And around here, this is the descending aorta, but here's a nodule here. This is probably another pleural nodule. Now this one's important because this one's the one that's accessible bronchoscopically. If we have a look at the airways, here's the trachea branching into the left main bronchus. And as the left main bronchus comes down, here's the left upper lobe. And here is this lesion. The left lower lobe bronchus here appears normal. And this lesion is medial to it. It's possible that it may be a lung lesion, but given that there's all these other pleural lesions and it appears right up next to the aorta, it may well be a pleural lesion. But this would provide a good spot for bronchoscopic biopsy with EBUS because the EBUS bronchoscope could sit here in the left main bronchus or the proximal left lower lobe and be able to visualize this lesion and needle it. And this is probably provides an easier way to biopsy than doing this surgically. And given that this lady has had a surgical procedure in the past and pleurodesis would make that very difficult because the lung and pleura are stuck to the chest wall. CT guided biopsy is another option which may be able to biopsy one of these more peripheral uh, lung nodules such as this one, but note that the scapula is in the way. So I'll show you how this was performed bronchoscopically. Firstly, I just wanted to have a look down the left main bronchus to make sure there's no endobronchial lesion. There's the left upper lobe. And we just go into the left lower lobe and we can see that that's patent with no endobronchial lesion. This is the EBUS view and we'll just place the EBUS scope down the left main bronchus and hold the ultrasound up against the wall there and we should be able to find the lesion. There it is there. You can see it's got a hyperechoic border and it's heterogeneous and quite a significant mass there. We can now biopsy this quite easily. You can see the needle going in there straight into the lesion under ultrasound guidance. Once the stylet is clear, we can needle the lesion and get a good sample of that to send off to look at under the microscope with cytology. This is the biopsy showing highly abnormal tumor cells of 
mesothelial origin. The cells show mitotic figures, which means that you can see tumor cells that are actively dividing, which is a sign that it's highly malignant. They do immunohistochemical stains, which shows that these cells are mesothelial in origin and are not from a lung cancer or something else. So this confirms that this is an epithelioid mesothelioma and in the correct clinical setting is diagnostic. So there you go, a mesothelioma diagnosed with bronchoscopy. This is a, a good case just to remind you that lesions that are adjacent to central airways can usually be accessed bronchoscopically. So think about EBUS with needle aspiration. All right, hope you like that, hope you learned something and please subscribe to my channel and I'll do more of these videos. And if you like this video, I'd be very appreciative uh, on YouTube and leave a comment. And um, if you have any questions, certainly ask that and I'll answer them in the comments. Okay, see you later.